Okay, Andy, tell us. Um, remind people what Whitley is and what has changed in this last year since the last South by Southwest. So last year at South by Southwest, when you and I chatted, we had just released our API, which helped companies analyze personality and compatibility of different people in who might be users of their application through their social media footprint. And at that point, we had thought that collaborative consumption companies like Airbnb or GetAround were going to launch onto this as a way to help improve the customer service that they were giving to their customers. What we learned, and it started at South by Southwest, is that the people who were really interested in knowing that were brands, media, and advertising who wanted a way to understand more deeply who the people who were engaged with their brand were. After South by Southwest, we continued our conversations with a lot of brands. We talked to them a lot about the API. What we learned is that implementing an API is very difficult for a large company to do quickly and easily because they have to go get approval for development resources, build it out. In talking to them, we decided that we would create an easy way for them to use our API. And we've built a marketing application that uses big data, social data, to do market research for brands and companies quickly, beautifully, and inexpensively. And the benefit being, in comparison to traditional market research, they're able to get information and understand things about their engaged customers much more quickly than you can from a focus group study. All because our API allows us to access that information from social media. And what kind of information is that? So we can tell um, brands and, and other companies, we segment their users into market segments, and so we can tell them what kind of, you know, are they mostly wholesome, are they mostly sophisticated, are they mostly daring? And then within each of those segments, we can tell them what TV shows they like. So if your rugged users really like, I don't know, uh, Top Gear, then you know if you've got a product coming out that you want to target to that kind of person in your market, that's a place where you might go advertise. That might be very different if you have a top of the line product coming out and you want to target your sophisticated users who are all watching Mad Men. So that's the kind of information that in literally minutes you can get from our application. So this is going to be used a lot by uh, planners? Um, media planners, yeah. market researchers, people's, uh, people at companies or advertising agencies that are doing product development, wanting to understand perhaps what kinds of features are going to appeal to the majority of our users based on who those people are. Or on the other side, once you have a product, how do I place it and put it in the right places and media and TV shows so that the people I want to see it, see it. And then you can track things. If you start a campaign, say you want to grow your audience in a certain way, start a campaign. When you come back to our app, you'll be able to see if that segment of your audience has gotten larger over time. Because you do see an evolution over time. It's not that you just yeah. get uh, one no. A snapshot. No. Every, we, are, we continually update the data. So you subscribe in this app to a Twitter handle that you're interested in. And every day we go out and continually add new information about the people who are engaging with that Twitter handle. And so instead of in contrast to maybe a Radiant 6, instead of telling you what they're saying about you, we're telling you about them, what they're interested in, what they're like, what's going to engage with them, and also when to engage with them. When are they online? When are they doing these things? So. And um, do you have a minimum, like, what, what are the profiles? What are, is there a number of uh, tweets that they have to have, a number of uh, interactions per day? Um, because we need each of the people we profile to have a significant number of tweets in order to use our natural language processing algorithm. We require right now that any of the brands that we s offer for subscription or that you might want to profile have at least 5,000 followers. And that's, I mean, most big brands have millions of followers. This is a very low threshold um, to get to 5,000 followers. And um, last year you were also using Facebook, for example. What happened with that? Um, so Facebook still works with our API. 
the we aren't able to do as much public data work with Facebook because Facebook made changes in the end of last year to really clamp down on what was available publicly. So if you had, for example, a Facebook application, you could tie it into our API and we could add it into your dashboard and you could see the same segmentation there, but that's not part of the base model. And uh, are you afraid something like that could happen with Twitter? We feel a little bit better actually about Twitter and there's a couple of reasons why, is Twitter's always been, if you go read their terms of use, we are public, what you put on Twitter, you put on Twitter, it's getting seen by anyone and everyone. And taking that one step further that the people that we're looking at are people who have chosen to engage. So they've tweeted to, they've replied to, they've mentioned the brand that we're looking at. So again, we're using an approved Twitter vendor to get our data. We do respect any privacy or deletions that come through, but um, Twitter has always from the beginning been much more uh, open and uh, what are you releasing now in the for South by? You've been working on it all night. <laughs> yeah, been we've been up all night for days. Um, we're releasing what we call our brands application. It's um, brands.wit.li, and you can go in, you can subscribe to a Twitter handle we've already profiled, or you can add one that you're interested in, as long as it has 5,000 followers, and we'll initiate the process of getting you the data. So this graph right here is the users for Sprinkler. Uh, segmented out in di different groups, whether they're wholesome or daring or sophisticated. And in the app, when you click on one of them, it changes and you can see the data for that particular segment. So you can see how they've changed and in contrast to other segments. And then if you're a brand manager, you can look at multiple companies against one another as well. So you can really see how your different companies and different brands um, compare.